great magician. Your clothes are red! What's up, what's going on guys? Jerk120 back to teach you more powerful magic integrated with social dynamics. And one of the most common things you may hear spectators say after you perform magic for them is do that again. Show this person how you did that. Show this person that. You gotta see this buddy, you gotta see what this magician did. Do that again. And often, you shouldn't perform the same trick twice, especially not in a short period of time, and especially not to the same person back to back. But I wanna show you this awesome little tip that I've come across, because it, it is a very powerful effect. I've taught it on Disturbed Reality before. It is here then there, where a spectator picks a card, and you take the card, and you allow them to put their hands on top of it or sandwich it in their hands. You take the next card down, and you magically change them, ch -ch -ch, boom, and have the cards switch place using a, a duplicate card. So I've taught that. Not a, this isn't a tutorial on how to do the trick, so I've had tutorials before. But basically you have a duplicate card, and that's how you achieve the effect. And normally when you go about it, this is such a good trick that someone, after they see it, or people pile on top of their hands, you know, you, maybe you just do it to one person, you know, warm up, this, open up with this powerful trick. They pick a card, you do a... a a control to get second from the top, sandwich it in between the two jacks. We'll take your eight of spades, put it in your hand, cover it like a sandwich. I'll take the next card down, jack of diamonds, and I will get the cards to switch places. And that was a paintbrush color change. Done tutorial for that as well. Normally, this trick will happen. Great reactions. You do it to one person. Whoa, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? I gotta see that again. Now, they bring you over to a friend show that trick the sandwich do that sandwich trick again here's where a little nifty thing you don't want to do the same trick twice necessarily um, but this one's a little different because this one's fast it's easy and it's powerful and all it takes to fix your little problem is because you don't want to do the same trick twice with the same jack of diamonds because people will see that and they'll think, oh, he must have two Jack of Diamonds. Why, what are the chances that he used the Jack of Diamonds twice? So the simple solution is to get two duplicate cards and have them in your deck at all times. So you can do the hand sandwich trick here, then there, David Blaine's hand sandwich trick, whatever you want to call it. You can do here, then there once to one person. They build up, build up, build up. You show some more tricks, you build the suspense, and then when you're coming near the end, you go through the deck, find your two other duplicates buried in there, and you do the same exact trick that you had already done. Spectator picks a card, you will do the Marlowe tilt, make it look good, make it jump to the top, that's step one. Then have everyone around put their hands out you put this in their hand, they sandwich it, and then have everyone put their hands on top of it, and that will ensure that they don't turn the card over to see that it's not really the Ace of Diamonds. So now you have like five people sandwiching this person's hand. Take the next card down, really take your time. With the switch, you don't wanna do it and it changes. Just have it happen very slowly. Go under the pile, and finally reveal a tur slow turnover. Did you feel anything? Got it. They'll start to freak out. They reveal their hands, and the person who already saw it thinks it's just as spectacular, if not more, because more people hands were on top of it. All because you had another duplicate card. That's just something that I personally do all the time. I'll always try to have at least two duplicate cards with me so I can specifically do this trick to the same person multiple times throughout uh, one sitting and uh, you know not a lot of decks have two duplicate cards let alone one duplicate card you always have to go buy a second deck of cards and just steal from and now this deck is missing cards so you know you kind of sacrificing for your art but that's what magic is but I'm happy to announce that my Kickstarter project the Disturb Reality playing cards the CXX deck and the Alpha Kappa deck which feature two duplicate cards on top of the 52 standard cards, on top of the two jokers, has been fully funded on Kickstarter. It's reached its goal of $14,000, so the decks are going to be made. 
which is awesome. So what does that mean for you? It, for those of you who didn't uh, pledge yet or didn't want to or just wanted to wait, I know a lot of people will say, oh, I'm gonna wait to see where the deck goes to and I don't know if I wanna put down a credit card because I wonder if the deck doesn't get funded, do I get charged, blah, blah, you know, this and that. A lot of problems come up. But now you know that the deck is going to get funded and there's still 11 days left to uh, get a deck or two for yourself. Use it as a gift. Hop over to Kickstarter and search Alpha Kappa, search Disturb Reality or search CXX. It will definitely pop up. Or simply click the annotation or the card over here, the link in the description, and lock one down for yourself. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm Jarek120, teaching powerful magic integrated with social dynamics. Be inspired to learn. Aspire to disturb and always rise above.